Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're going over aftershaves. Um, I've had uh, actually two guys in the past uh, about a month, month and a half uh, request aftershave, uh, an aftershave video. So here we go. Um, I don't have a ton of aftershaves, so this is probably going to be a quicker video. Um, the majority of my after aftershaves range between the 5 and I'd say $15 mark. Um, I have one that's above that. I mentioned that in the last video and that's Fine Platinum. So we can start off here. Uh, Fine Platinum um, is a Creed Aventus dupe uh, or, or duplication of that Creed Aventus scent. Um, it's my most pricey aftershave. And it smells very good. Like, uh, this is my only Creed Aventus uh, dupe that I have. Um, but this is, well, that's not, that's not really true. So I guess I'll go over that, but this is the, this is, I don't know, my top five aftershaves for sure. Just all around favorite aftershaves. All right. So you guys know I'm a big fan of Sterling and, um, I'm going to show you here. I've mentioned these before, but these are, these are Sterling uh, samples and I actually have, you could buy four of them for $10. And they're about five mil each. Um, <clears throat> so four of them for ten ten dollars, five mil each. So you get you know twenty mil. But um, they will last about three to four shaves. Um, so you know you'll use them three or four times. The the what, what I was getting at with the Creed Aventus is one of these is actually. Sterling's take on Creed Aventus. Where's it at? Executive Man. And and on their labels on these samples aren't waterproof, so I've gotten all of these wet, so it's a little smudgy. But Executive Man is actually Creed Aventus, uh, Sterling's Creed Aventus dupe. Smells great. It's definitely a different take than Fine Platinum. Um... This is stronger, for sure, and a bit more spicy. I believe it's a bit more spicy, like a, like a, a Creed Aventus is known for its spicy pineapple. Um, so that definitely has a bit more spice. This is more kind of like a laid back, the uh, Sterling um, Executive Man is a bit more laid back. And I'm not going to go over every single scent. Um, I don't think anybody would want a 45 minute video of me doing my thoughts or, or you know my olfactory senses on every single scent so i won't do that but i'll just kind of give you a, a, an overview of all that i have so i do have those i have the four well four and, and three with the executive man down there from sterling um next we have i did a shade with this yesterday since this right here florida water um this is a very clean scent kind of like a cologne type scent yeah very cologne -y. um that's what that is. Uh, we have, let's see, Razor Rock Triple X, top five, 100%, right here. This is a very nice, it's kind of like a, I think it's kind of like a boozy, like a boozy citrus. That's what I get. That's what I'm getting right now. I ate about 30 minutes ago, so in the next hour, if I smell this again, it might be a different scent. But I generally think that this is kind of like a citrusy, boozy smell. Um, very nice, like I said, top five. Um, and I'll kind of put my top fives to the side here and kind of, I guess, go over uh, the top five soaps. Actually, I'm, I'm just about done with aftershave. So, like I said, this will be a quick video. Uh, this is a classic. A lot of these scents that I have could be um, considered or labeled as like old man scents, although I, I like them and I'm only 30 years old, but you know, they, I guess, you know, if you've smelled an, an older uncle or your grandfather, your father, you know, maybe that's why people correlate that to old man fragrance, but Stetson, Stetson aftershave. This is a very nice scent. It's, it's powdery, it's musky. Yeah, that's a classic. Stetson's definitely a classic. I don't know that I put Stetson in my top five. I love Stetson. I just don't know that I can add it to my top five. 
Um, next, we'll go with we'll kind of go with the uh, the darkers at this point. So that's Stetson. Let's go with this again. This is like an old um, man fragrance, if you will. English leather. This is a great scent. I love Stetson. I love this. I think I like this a little more. This though, um, loads of alcohol in this. So if you have a bad shave, please do yourself a favor and and, and do not use English leather. And I'm I'm sorry if I really don't know what's going on with my camera because sometimes I'll have the the eye over here and sometimes I'll have the eye over here. And either way, like the camera's flipped, it always just like puts the letter backwards. I, I have to figure that out. But English leather, definitely top five. An old man scent. <laughs> Continuing on with the old man scents, let's go uh, with a little Pinot Clubman. Like I said, a little darker as far as the, uh, the actual, uh, actual aftershave goes. So Pinot Clubman, like a definitely a powdery, musky scent, different than Stetson. It's a bit more bright uh, the, over Stetson. Stetson's kind of like a dark powder musky scent. This is a bit brighter. Um, this is most definitely a classic. Um, my dad used this um, when I was little. So, you know, it's definitely my top five, which makes it hard because now I have Fine Platinum, English Leather, Bernard Clubman, and Razor Rock. I have four of my five, and I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven aftershaves to go through. So let's see. This would probably be in my top five. And again, an old man scent, <laughs> old spice. This would probably be in my top five if it were the original formulation. I know that the original formulation of this aftershave was extremely strong or potent. This is very mild. It's very mild. I like the scent. I wish it was five times as strong as this is though. So because of that, it's not my top five, but Old Spice, classic. All right, let's go with, we'll finish off with Pinot Clubman. I have two more Pinots. So Pinot Clubman Virgin Island Bay Rum. This thing is, so this is a normal, this is the Clubman. Look at this bottle. This thing is huge, it's massive. And again, this is a, this is a Pinot Clubman's Bay Rum take. And it smells like bay rum. It's it's not too heavy on clove, I wouldn't say. As refreshing as an island breeze right there. It's not too heavy on clove, but it definitely has that bay rum, that bay rum type scent. Pinot Clubman's Virgin Island Bay Rum. Also Pinot Clubman, Whiskey Woods. I really like this aftershave. Can't put it in the top five. Um, but this, I actually prefer this over the Pinot Clubman uh, Virgin Island Bay Rum. It's just, you definitely, it's a, it's definitely a boozy and it's definitely a woodsy, like a deep, dark earth type scent. Yeah, definitely like that. If I had a top six, this would be in it for sure. All right, next we have two Aqua Velvas. Aqua Velva Musk and Aqua Velva Ice Blue. Um, look at the color variation there. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like how it looks. But uh, yeah, this has a bit of menthol in it. So it's, it's, it has that cooling effect. And I mean, I just smell a little bit of menthol and it smells like a clean scent, clean, fresh scent. This definitely musky, but that's about all I get from it. Yeah, just a musky scent. I actually think the barber shop when I was a kid used a lot of this because this brings back just memories of, of that barber shop. So, um, all right, two remaining aftershaves, Katie's Bubbles, Barnegat Bay. This was sent to me by Rudd's. He also sent the matching um, shaving soap from Katie's Bubbles. This is uh, another take, Barnegat Bay is another take on a Bay Rum from Katie's Bubbles. Uh, West Indies Bay, Allspice, Clove, Citrus, and Patchouli are the notes. And I get the Allspice. I get the Clove for sure. 
What else is in here? West Indies Bay Citrus and Patchouli. I can't say that I'm getting anything else specific, um, but definitely the clove and definitely the allspice. Very good aftershave. And last but not least, and yeah, okay, cool. I, I kind of wanted to put this in my top five. 4711. This is a nice citrus forward scent. Very clean. This is... It's just a nice cooling, it, it kind of like a relaxing type of scent. And it's not that expensive. Like I said, none of these aftershaves that I've shown you are expensive. And expensive is relative, right? So for me, they're not expensive being under that $20 mark. Um, fine Platinum, I think it's like 20 20 to 25 somewhere in that range, depending on where you buy it. And to me, that's a bit expensive for an aftershave of this size when I could buy an aftershave of this size for, I think, six bucks. So anyways, that's my aftershaves. Um, let's go over the top five. I said I wasn't going to do like uh, an in-depth smell of each of them, and, and I did the exact opposite. So anyways, there you go. So my top five. I have English Leather, Razor Rock Triple X, Fine Platinum, Penaud Club and Original, and 4711. What do I want to choose for my number five? This is hard. I probably should have done this beforehand, but I didn't know my top five until just now. Um, you know, we'll go we'll go Penaud Club and the original for number five. Um, like I said, definitely a, a classic, and it definitely hits me in the in the memory. Uh, uh, zone in my mind whenever I smell it. So it is number five. Number four, <sighs> we'll go with English leather. I think, like I said, I really do enjoy this scent, but it, it has a particular mood attached to it, and I couldn't see myself wearing that out and about in the summer days, that type of thing. Now, these next three, I could definitely find myself wearing at any point in time because they just smell really good. Um, I guess my number three would be Razor Rock Triple X. And, yeah, that's a very nice, very nice scent. They actually make the shaving soap as well, uh, along with the splash, but I don't have it. I have five other um, Razor Rock soaps. So, uh, number two. Fine Platinum. Fine Platinum, number two. Um, like I said, very good Creed Aventus dupe. Uh, it smells awesome. It's a nice, nice, dark, smoky fruit. It, it, it's, a, it's a very, very nice scent. It's very well done. And number one, as you know, 4711. I don't know. I feel like I could put this on at night. I could put it on in the morning. I could... I could splash this over my body and go run in the streets and people are going to be like, whoa, they're not worried about that I'm naked. They're worried about the scent of this. What is he wearing? This stuff is nice. It's it's subtle. It's, it's strong enough for me. I like strong scents. It's strong enough for me, but it's also subtle, citrusy. It's it's very refreshing. It's, it's like I said, calming, relaxing. It's a nice, nice scent. So that's kind of all of my aftershaves. Now, these are um, things that I'll also use kind of for post shaves. So I'll show you this. You already know this one. This is Witch Hazel. There's Cucumber Witch Hazel. Um, I've already gone through an entire tub of, or an entire container of lavender. So this is the cucumber here. You've seen that quite a bit. You've seen this a, a good bit too if you've been watching my channel long enough. Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shave Balm. I actually have, I bought on Amazon, There was they were selling five of these, I think for $15. So snatch that up, three bucks per container, and those container that that one container will probably last me, you know, four to six months. Something that I used a lot when I first started out was this here, an Allen block, gentleman John's Allen block. I used this a ton when I first started out. You know, under the whole impression that you know when you're finished shaving, you you wet the Allen block, you drag it across your face, and it'll kind of close up pores and everything. And it definitely works. That that's that's it definitely the for, but for my skin, um, I think it causes more irritation because my skin does not deal with harsh things like like I was saying earlier with English leather. This is like I mean all aftershaves 
that contain alcohol have a good bit of alcohol in them, uh, a good bit of alcohol in them. But this, my goodness, I remember that one shave. I had a straight razor, and it was a, it wasn't a terrible shave, but it was it was definitely a little rough. Um, I didn't hone it as well as I should have, and I put that English leather on. Man, my, my face was beet red, beet as red as this, my entire face. So, anyways, that's why I don't really use this too much more any, anymore, but um, it definitely does work. Uh, it's kind of the same thing with this. When I first started wet shaving, um, I also bought some skin tinned, or actually tinned skin. And it's basically just like an alcoholic solution. And it comes with this little roller here. So, I would just, you know, kind of roll it on my neck. But again, it would cause irritation there as well. So, that's not something that you really want. Whenever you're shaving or after you're done shaving, you don't want irritation. And that this is actually supposed to remove razor bumps. So if you get a lot of razor bumps, this will help. Um, tin skin will help. But again, it can also cause irritation. So be aware of that. So, and last but not least, my Jack Black uh, moisturizer. This is oil-free oil moisturizer. I have very, uh, very oily skin. So this definitely helps. Oh, something else I wanted to mention real quick. Um, not that anybody watches these videos that manufactures, but maybe. You see how in the cap there of the 47, this is 4711, there's that little post, there's that little post in the center there. That fits inside of this, obviously. And so if I wanted to shake this up before using it, look at that color. I really like the color of that. When I go to do this and take the cap off, there is no liquid stuck in that cap. It's all stuck in here because that little post sits in here. And for instance, if I were to do that with fine platinum, same exact thing. It has a little post in there as well. Well, you might not be able to see it with the light, but trust me, there's a post in there. And that fits in the little hole. Now let's pick up Stetson. If I'm gonna shake this up, open this up, there is yeah, there's liquid all in here. Liquid is all in there because there's no there's no post. So sometimes I'll I'll just there's liquid all in my hand there. So, anyways, just just for thought, food for thought, I suppose. Um, that's that's all my aftershaves. Uh, wow, almost 18 minutes, uh, longer than I thought. So hope you guys have a good day, and uh, I'll see you next time.